Georgia, of course, was named after His Most Britannic Majesty, King George II, King of Great Britain and Ireland. God save the King! Now, unlike most other colonies in America, which were started by private companies as private ventures, Georgia was granted a royal charter. In fact, we got the first royal charter to be issued in some 50 years. The last one had been given to William Penn to found the colony of Pennsylvania in 1681. So, I'm sure you can understand I considered it quite an accomplishment to have secured one for my little venture. 